glutagenic, high potency glutathione products that are absorbable into your body and into your brain. Glutathione is your body's master antioxidant. Visit glutagenic.com to explore glutathione. Thanks for. Hi, this is Dr. John. Today I'd like to talk to you about something called neurodegeneration. Neurodegeneration is something that's happening to all of us. It's the process where we're actually losing neurons. As our brain ages and as we age, we actually lose brain tissue. And this process is actually normal, but it can be accelerated by a number of different processes that the end result of which is oxidative stress and the loss of mitochondria and the loss of the ability to produce energy and sustain the brain at a normal level, as well as different toxic influences that also assault the brain. And these things can go in and, and cause massive degradation of brain tissue at a very rapid rate. And this is incredibly common out in the United States and pretty much worldwide right now. You see, as we get older, we don't necessarily have to get less efficient with our brain function. I think we all take it for granted that, you know, it's just a process of aging that we're, you know, our memory is getting a little bit less, our short-term memory, we walk into rooms, we forget why we walked there, we forget phone numbers, we forget names. You know, these are things that we just chalk off to, we're just getting older. And there is a process where as we get older, we do get this neurodegeneration, but there's also something else that goes on in your brain. This process is called neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity, if we were to look at a, a graph, we'll see neuroplasticity actually improving as we get older, and we see neurodegeneration actually going down. Now, think about a child. When they first get into this world, they don't really function very well at all. They can't speak, they can't do math, you know, they, they have poor balance, and as they get older, they get better and better at that. And so this process is called neuroplasticity, and it's a kind of a fancy name for basically saying that your brain actually can learn and get better and grow. And so as you go through life, your neuroplasticity actually increases, and your neurodegeneration can either increase or it can decrease or it can kind of stay at a, a, a moderate level. What happens, though, with folks is that their neurodegeneration actually eclipses their neuroplasticity. And when this happens, your brain actually starts to go south and the function gets very poor. So when you start getting this phenomenon of higher neurodegeneration and lower neuroplasticity, you start to run into some major problems. These problems can show up in poor, as poor digestion, memory, concentration, um, chronic inflammatory problems, irritability, balance, your focus, you know, there's a whole host of brain-based issues that can start to surface. They don't need to. There's things that you can do to buffer this. Oxidative stress is at the very crux of all of these different insults to the brain. These oxidative stress phenomenon are also called reactive oxygen species. And this is a process of when we're producing energy or we have stress in the organ of the brain and we produce this stress that's kind of like would be like to the browning of the apple or rust on metal. It's, it's This stress in the brain boils down ultimately to oxidation. This oxidative stress is normally buffered by an antioxidant called glutathione. Glutathione is the master antioxidant that is constantly quenching this assault into the brain that is leading to neurodegeneration with almost everybody on this planet. That can be slowed down based on tens of thousands of studies on glutathione in brain based on increasing the glutathione levels in your brain. They've done a number of studies where they've shown that neurodegeneration is accelerated with low glutathione levels. In order to get your glutathione levels to an optimal level, you can't take it orally. You're going to need to take it in either an IV, nebulized, suppository, or in a cream. My personal favorite is the suppository because you get a slower release. I've said this in a lot of my other videos, but you know the IV um, nasal spray is another one I forgot to mention. The nebulizer, a lot of these are great, and they they're great for a, a nice bulk. Um, 
bolster of glutathione in a short uh, period of time. But what they're not going to give you is that slow release. And that slow release is going to allow your cells to kind of soak that up. So it's bathing the cells over a longer period of time, allowing those cells to pull that glutathione past the membrane and into the cell where it can really do its work. Suppositories are done before you go to bed at night. You get that slow release while your body's regenerating itself anyway. I'd like to talk to you about the OxyData. OxyData that was developed to test for the level of oxidative stress in your body. And it's a great test to determine how your diet and your lifestyle is affecting your antioxidant level. And it's also a great test to see where your overall oxidative um, level is as a response to certain types of dietary or supplement or lifestyle changes that you've made. Now the oxy data, um, I like it because there's really no good tests, at least any tests that are, are, are reasonably priced, to actually test for your glutathione levels. So what we have to do is just assume that since glutathione is the master antioxidant, if your overall oxidative stress is high, you're likely to be very low with glutathione. So what the oxidated, ox, oxidated test looks for is something called melandaaldehyde. And when you go through the process of oxid, um, when you have a higher level of oxidation, you're going to have a byproduct of something called melandaaldehyde. So it's a chemical byproduct of oxidation. And so what scientists have found is that you can test this in the urine. And there's a simple test that you can do. So with the oxidated test, basically you get this little um, ampule here and it's got a little bit of fluid in there which is the reactant chemical and then you've got this chart so you take your urine and you put it in this um, ampule and depending on what color the liquid or the urine inside the ampule turns you can determine like what level of oxidation you're in and obviously the redder or the, the oranger it gets the more oxidized you are and it's a very simple little test that you can do at home and uh, I recommend this for anybody that's interested in monitoring any type of lifestyle or glutathione or antioxidant program that they have. You can go to oxydata.com for more information on the Oxydata test. And you can also order the Oxydata test on our website. Thanks for joining me. Glutagenic is high potency glutathione products that are absorbable into your body and into your brain. Because glutathione is the master antioxidant, you should go to glutagenic.com and explore glutathione.